is $200 in this one. The book was the first copy of the book that I ever read. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my book collection. I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm going to start with the books that I haven't read and then I'll get into like the books that I have read. Just a quick little thought on them. Alright, so starting off, I have Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. This is a very TikTok hyped book. I got it from Cubity Books like a few months ago and I just haven't read it yet, but I have heard that it's really good. Next is a Colleen Hoover November 9. Again, I've heard lots of stuff about this on TikTok and booktube and stuff. I got it for my birthday, I think, so I think I might have showed it in my birthday vlog. But I honestly don't even know what it's about. It should be good. Next is Verity by Colleen Hoover. I'm pretty sure this one is like a mystery thriller from what I've heard. Again, another TikTok hyped book. Yeah, I think I started reading this one and I just wasn't in the mood for a thriller. So hopefully when I'm in the mood for a thriller, I will enjoy it. The next book is On Point by Chloe Bayless. I got this from Big W like years ago and I've just never read it. Obviously it's about dance. I think it's like a story about her life so hopefully I'll get around to reading this. So next is The Divergent. I've read The Divergent and I've seen all of the movies. The other two books I haven't read. I really enjoyed this one. I enjoyed the movie. I think I enjoy like, is it dystopian? I don't really know but I enjoy like the themes of these books. And then yeah, the next two I haven't actually read but I've seen the movies. But I enjoyed the movies so maybe one day I'll get around to reading the books but next is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I think that's how you say it. I've seen the movie but I just haven't read the book and I don't know it's just such a big book. Next is this rude jokes book that I got for a Christmas like jokes thing and obviously I'm not gonna sit here and read them all. This is the next book The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse by Charlie Mackey I think it is. My auntie got this for me I think maybe it was either for like a birthday present or a graduation present. I meant to open a page every day and it just has like nice things to say on it. That's what the pages look like. It's a bit fun. Yeah, that's a really nice book. Um, the next book is The Subtle Art of Not Giving Up. My mum gave this to me to read, but I just haven't gone around to reading it. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of non-fiction books, but maybe this might be helpful one day. I think that is all the books that I haven't read. Now I'm just gonna show you guys all the books that I have read. A lot of my books are TikTok hyped books, but um, the first book that I have read is The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. This is, um, this is a non-spice romance. It like mentions the scenes, but it doesn't go into detail like what they do and stuff, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I really like this book. Um, I read it within like two days, so I would recommend this one. The next one is The Love Hypothesis by Ellie Hazelwood. Again, very hyped on TikTok. I think I enjoyed it, but I wasn't really into reading when I read it, so it took me ages to read. I just didn't really like the science stuff behind it. I don't know. Other than that, I really enjoyed the storyline and like the ending. I recommend this. I just wasn't a fan of the science, even though there wasn't much. If there's any like sentences about it, I just didn't really find it interesting. That's obviously just my personal opinion. Next is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I love this book. It is one of my favorites. En Enemies to Lovers. But yeah, I would recommend this one and I want to get all of her other books. Next is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. Again, this one very hyped. I enjoyed it very much. It's about like a married couple. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I think I like almost cried in this book, so would recommend. Next book is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I love this book. I did cry in this book. Um, I was hooked the entire way through. I feel like that's how I feel with all Colleen Hoover books. So yes, again, highly recommend this one. Um, I have one more Colleen Hoover book, and that is It Ends With Us. This is the first Colleen Hoover book that I ever read. I really wanna read the second book to the series um it starts with us i would recommend this one um the next book is to all the boys i've loved before by jenny han the movie's very hyped. I didn't really enjoy this book. I just don't really like really long books. If you've seen the movie you've read the book. That's kind of my take on that. The next one is Go Online by Zoe Sugg. I read these back when I was in like grade six, like six, seven years ago, and I love these books. I love the little text messages in the books. Yeah, I really enjoyed this book. And the next book to go along with that one is Go Online on Tour. I just love this series, so I would just recommend all of the books. The only thing I don't like is like the size difference. That is a bit annoying if you like put them together. And then the last one for that series is Go Online Going Solo. Yes, again, would recommend 
and you really love this series. So the next one is Shatter Me by, I don't know how to say that, I'm not even gonna try and say it, but I love this series so far. I'm only like three books, two and a half books into it, but I just love the themes in this book. I love that it's like romance and also I think it's dystopian. I just love that it's not like fully romance, I just like how it's like combined. I finished this first book within like a few days, so I would recommend the series. This is also hyped on TikTok and booktube and everything. Um, the next one to go with that is the Unite Me novella. There's two novellas in this one, I've read the first one. It gives like a little bit more insight into the characters, so like this first novella gave more insight into Warner's life, gave his character more depth I guess. Yes, recommend all of this series. And then the last book I'm going to talk about is Unravel Me by the same series. I'm not even finished this book but I really enjoy it. It's a really big book though. But yeah, I would recommend. I like how um sometimes I think it's more in the first book where she like thinks something and then they cross it out and then it like fixes up what she should have said rather than her thoughts if that makes sense. I think that's all the books that I have in my book collection at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see any more book videos. Subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!